Good morning. Let us all please stand. And let's take this moment as we acknowledge one another's presence and welcome each other to our celebration of the Holy Mass. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today on the Saturday, uh, we, this Saturday we celebrate the memorial of St. Charles Lewanga and his companions who are African martyrs. And we ask for their intercession, for their prayers, that we can always bear witness to Jesus Christ, our Lord. Our opening hymn is number 483, Praise to the Lord the Almighty. Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. O my soul, praise Him, for He is thy health and salvation. All ye who hear, now to His altar draw near, joining in glad adoration. Praise to the Lord who does prosper thy work and defend thee. Surely his goodness and mercy shall daily attend thee. Ponder on you what the Almighty can do, who with his love does befriend thee. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us now humbly call to mind our sins, trusting in the mercy and grace of God in order to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. You came to call sinners. Christ eleison. Christ eleison. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have made the blood of martyrs, the seed of Christians, Mercifully grant that the field which is your church, watered by the blood shed by St. Charles Lawanga and his companions, may be fertile and always yield an abundant harvest. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. I thank the Lord and I praise him. I bless the name of the Lord. When I was young and innocent, I sought wisdom openly in my prayer. I prayed for her before the temple and I will seek her until the end. And she flourished as a grape soon ripe. My heart delighted in her my feet kept to the level path because from earliest youth I was familiar with her. In the short time I paid heed, I met with great instruction, since in this way I have profited. I will give my teacher grateful praise. 
I became resolutely devoted to her, the good I persistently strove for. My soul was tormented in seeking her. My hand opened her gate, and I came to know her secrets. I directed my soul to her, and in cleanliness I attained to her. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The, the precepts, precepts of the Lord, Lord give, give joy, joy to, to the, the heart. heart. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. The, the precepts, precepts of the Lord give, give joy to the heart. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. The, the precepts, precepts of, of the Lord, Lord give, give joy, joy to, the, to heart. the heart. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. The precepts, the precepts of the Lord, of the Lord give, joy give joy to the, to the heart. heart. They are more precious than gold, than a heap of purest gold, sweeter also than syrup or honey from the comb. The, the precepts, precepts of the Lord give, give joy, joy to the to heart. The heart. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus and his disciples returned once more to Jerusalem. And as he was walking in the temple area, the chief priests and the scribes and the elders approached him and said to him, By what authority are you doing these things? Or who gave you this authority to do them? Jesus said to them, I shall ask you one question. Answer me and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. Was John's baptism of heavenly or of human origin? Answer me. They discussed this among themselves and said, If we say of heavenly origin, he will say, Then why did you not believe him? Or, But if we shall say of human origin, they feared the crowd, for they all thought John really was a prophet. So they said to Jesus in reply, We do not know. Then Jesus said to them, Neither shall I tell you by what authority do I do these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Winning isn't everything. It is the only thing. That's what the great um, Vince Lombardi, the coach of the Green Bay Packers, used to tell his team. And of course, I, as I was thinking of that, I was thinking of our, our fa father John, our beloved father John, and thinking I'm, I'm going to bring up the Green Bay Packers. I can't do it without acknowledging him. But then I realized when I researched that quote a little further, Vince Lombardi actually borrowed it from another football coach, the great Red Sanders, who was the coach of UCLA Bruins in the 1950s. And if you know the UCLA Bruins, their arch rival, of course, is the USC Trojans. And so he once was quoted as saying, um, winning the game with the Trojans is not a matter of life and death. It's much more important than that. And I think sometimes we bring to life the concept that it is a game. It's more about winning and losing than anything else. That winning and losing becomes the only thing. Sadly, we saw that played out on the national stage this week on, when we look at the situation in Washington and the debt ceiling debate, where you would hear people not talking about the merits of what we should or shouldn't do, but people on both sides were saying, 
well, this person negotiated better than this person. This person won. This person lost. People were actually saying, I'm going to vote for or against this based on will, will it help me or hurt me in the elections next year. When we make smile at politicians, but how many times do we make the decision that sometimes we are not seeking the truth, seeking what's right, seeking what's wrong, but instead we find ourselves saying, if I do this, this will happen to me. If I do this, here are the consequences. And we see that plotting in today's gospel. Do we not? Where, where um, Jesus posed a difficult question to the Pharisees, and almost like a football game, you see the Pharisees huddle up. You know, they're on defense. Okay, what do we do with that? We got this. If we say this, it's going to mean this. If we say this, we... Where in their deliberations was there, well, what's the truth? Could this have been of heavenly origin? Could this have been of earthly origin? Why did it matter what other people would think when they're sitting here huddling up? And yet sometimes we do that. Our first reading from Sirach reminded us that when we were young and innocent, guys, remember those days? When we were young and innocent, what did we pray for? We prayed for wisdom. We prayed for knowledge, to know the difference between right and wrong. As a little child, we were less concerned about being proven right, saving face, than finding the truth in the situation. Today, the church celebrates 22 martyrs from Uganda and also remembers and commemorates not just those 22, but 23 others who suffered the same fate who came from the Anglican tradition. You see, in the 1880s, missionaries from both the Anglican Church and the Catholic Church went to Uganda to spread Christianity and were very successful in spreading the truth, especially among the young who were, seek who were young and innocent and seeking the truth. <coughs> Excuse me. But the king who was involved, he was doing very bad things especially with the youth of that time. And he was threatened by that message of Christianity. And he declared that everyone in his court who would not renounce Christianity would face a cruel death. And that's why 45 young men went to their death professing in Jesus Christ. Charles Luongo, the, the first name we, we hear of the 22 martyrs, as he was being burned alive, was continuing to invite the people who were uh, executing him, I encourage you to come and become a Christian. He even joked, he said, these flames are like cold water as he was dying. You see, it was because he wasn't trying to win at all costs, but he was trying to seek the truth that he was able to make a difference in, um, in 1880 in Uganda. As we continue this liturgy, let us pray. Let us ask God, where in our lives am I calculating about how I can save face, how I can win? And maybe instead seek, what is your truth, even if it's at a cost? And let us change um, um, Vince Lombardi's and Red Sanders' quote to, winning isn't everything, seeking truth is. St. Charles Luangwa and companions, pray for us. Let us now stand as through the intercession of St. Charles Lewanga and his companions, we lift up our prayers to the Lord. Our response, Lord, let your power be upon us. Lord, Lord let, let your, your power be upon us. us. That the church may continue to teach Christ's eternal truth with authority, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let your power be upon us. That the hearts of world leaders may not be hardened as they hear Christ's voice today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let your power be upon us. That those considering religious life may seek to follow the will of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let your power be upon us. That our blameless and holy lives may cast away the unclean spirits at work in our society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let your power be upon us. That the faithful departed may enjoy the radiant dawn of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let your power be upon us. The intentions of today's Mass are offered for George Justiniani and the eternal repose of Milt Tennant and Vicente Bobis. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord let, let your, your power, power be, be upon us. us. We pray in thanksgiving for Jessica de Los Angeles, Pat Hassett, Luisa Ejercito, Miko Pagulayan C., June Nino Franco, Mark Joshua Bernardino, Madison Hurley, and Raul Limbaring. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord let, let your, your power, power be yeah. upon us. For our sick, Lorenzo Moran, Nancy Scott, Marisi Shusha, Barbara Yanchar, Lumi Palacio, Kimberly Pham Hewitt, and Gloria Flores. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord let, let your, your power, power be upon, upon us. us. And for our dearly departed, Roger Luis, Robert Laro, Romulo Duran, Monsignor Josefino Ramirez, Angel Sarosa, Belen Teano, Rosabel Vicuña, and Alejandro Oscanoa. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord let, let your, your power, power be upon, upon us. us. You can now take a moment of silence as we lift up to the Lord <clears throat> our own prayers and our own petitions, as well as the prayers of our Ark of Prayer chest. <clears throat> Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let your power be upon us. Lord, through the intercession of St. Charles Luanga and his companions, may we always seek your truth and bear witness to you in our lives. We make this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Spirit and contrite heart, we have accepted by you. We have sacrificed in your sight this day, and we please you to your Lord God. Bless our Lord, for my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands 
for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you sacrifice, O Lord, humbly praying that as you granted the blessed martyrs grace to die rather than to sin, so you may bring us to minister at your altar in dedication to you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, as without end we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth. Pleni sunt etera, gloria tua. Hosanna in excelsis, benedictus, qui venit in nomine domini. Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, Thomas, and Todd, his brother bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Santiago de Compostela, and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, Dona nobis pacem. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit to your death gave life to the world, for you that is your most holy body and blood from all my sins and from every evil, keep me faithful to your commandments and never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
the communion antiphon. How precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his holy ones. The body of Christ. We now pray in union with our brothers and sisters who are praying with us online, those who are homebound, and those who cannot receive Jesus in Holy Communion today. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. We have received this divine sacrament, O Lord, as we celebrate the victory of your holy martyrs. May what help them to endure torment, we pray, make us, in the face of our trials, steadfast in faith and in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And on this first Saturday of the month, we ask the intercession of Mary, our mother, as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. To Saint Joseph, hail guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you God entrusted his only Son. In you Mary placed her trust. With you Christ was secure and safe. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. And to St. Michael. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you and all of your loved ones, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. And our closing hymn is number 453, Holy God, we praise thy name. Holy God, we praise thy name. Lord of all, we bow before thee. All on earth thy scepter claim. All in heaven above. Have a blessed day, everyone.